I'm fine with being a tease. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is a very complicated situation. Oh, honey. <laughs> Just learn the lines. <laughs> Two characters is tough, but you know what Olivier says? Let the wig do the work. God, that is bad news, man. That wig is fucking terrible. No hard feelings. <laughs> Status quo Annabella. <laughs> Everything as it was. Yep. That's just like uh, sitcoms. <laughs> that woman is just, yeah. Uh, you should let her hit that. She probably gives good head. DTF, right? Down to fuck. Because she is. I missed you. Dude, don't start that shit. We smash. That's it. Now I'm the other woman. I just want to see how it was on the other side. We're done. See, now she is the other woman. That's, that's interesting. As I said it, I realized it. She's the other woman now. Now, of course, she cheated on her husband, but, you know, she's the other this woman. This happened a long time ago. <laughs> he was probably always good at this part of the relationship. Ben Dolls. Ew. I don't miss that. <laughs> Look, you handed me a mythol and you ate your smoke part of it? Dick. Is this what it would have been like if we stayed together? No, because you never, you're never happy with what you have, motherfucker. I'm happy in my life. I can tell. Let's just enjoy it. Yeah, shut the fuck up and stop trying to fuck this over. What are you thinking right now? <laughs> this motherfucker. He wants to spin this into a regular thing. How different you are before and after. Yeah, no shit. Before, he's all romantic. After, he's a dick. Why do you look at me when you're like this? But then I watch it decay. Yeah, exactly. I could only hold your attention so long. And that's with any woman. She's reading him right now, man. This is exactly what Why is sex the definition of being close to someone? Because that's all you want to do. Just because you climb a mountain doesn't mean you love it. Ew. Climbing a mountain. Jesus. Is that what making love is? <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. We're here together, with you in my arms, I would have felt just as close. Yeah, yeah I don't believe him for a second. Not the rest of it, I don't know. I don't believe him. I don't know. Laying there, holding her with a hard dick. Yeah, it doesn't mean that much to me. Yeah, I'm fucking right. But look, I'm a cynical bastard. What can Same I say? with Megan. Let's not talk about that. Why do you want to talk about that? <laughs> yep. She's doomed. She's going to feel the same heartbreak I did. She doesn't know that loving you is the worst way to go. <laughs> the best way is to just cheat with you. <laughs> Burn. Man, there have been so many burns. It's like a Mustang from... Uh, Full metal, right? He's been burning motherfuckers left and right in this episode. Jesus. Let's go again. Then I'm going to torch you some more. Are you sure you don't want to just hold me? <laughs> I knew you were lying. <laughs> lying motherfucker. <laughs> the fuck you doing? <laughs> God, you're ready to kill your ass. Oh, because you're leaving me here. After someone threw a rock through our window. <laughs> they don't like your articles. Well, I came in here and there's glass all over the floor and you're holding a rock. I'm tired of being interrogated. <laughs> Abe, I have to go to work tomorrow. And this is our bedroom. <laughs> someone was in our yard. This is bullshit. And you're going to protect me? You only have one hand. Yeah, and you couldn't protect me with three hands. You're right. Why does she always have terrible ass boyfriends? We'll start looking, put it on the market. Can you really do that for me? Maybe we're not cut out to be pioneers. <laughs> hey, you gave me a shot. I still think they're mad at him being for for being a reporter and the shit he's saying. You son of a bitch. Oh shit, I forgot your grandkid. You took a four year old to see Planet of the Apes. Oh eight. shit. Having nightmares all night. Yeah. <laughs> <Come on, come laughs> Dumbass. See that. He doesn't decide that. <laughs> Don took his kid. Yeah, his kid's twice the age. Father of the What's year. What's that? Right. Margaret, honey. He loved it. The Forbidden Zone was once a paradise. Click. You're not funny, Daddy. Yeah. We well, have to get rid of the dog. He's that afraid of fur. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just stupid. Listen, I saw the golem when I was his age. You don't the even know what scary is. Golem? is. And I, was... I know what a golem is. I've never heard of a movie called that. It's my fault. Yeah. 
My fault for trusting you. me into having a four-year-old watch another four-year-old. Yeah, <laughs> lady. Burn. You calm like down I said, this minute. Burn this You shit. listen to me. Torch. Fantasy of acting like a father, but your grandfather days are done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you're upset. I'm coming over. Yeah, you're not, motherfucker. The yeah. door's locked. No. And call mother next time you want to see him because she has to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Burn. Four years old. What is he probably in real life? 60, or, you know, the character. 65. John Slatery or whatever his name is, probably 20 years younger than they want Roger to be. I don't think he's actually that old. It's just his hair is gray. Well, this is awkward. Just keep walking, Buffer. Don't go, come towards here. Jesus. <laughs> None of this is good. I think it's probably going to be a one-off thing. They love just one-off stories on this show, right? I don't think there's going to be any continuation to this. Doesn't Pete Campbell have a oh, beach house? Shit. Wouldn't ask him for anything. Yeah. He's a very generous person, and frankly, I think he's having a rough time. Yeah, no shit. So don't you about his mother? No, I wish he would have. What's wrong? <laughs> he needs a nurse. He's not going to have three nurses. Ashamed. Well, this is awkward. Oh, hello, Roger. <laughs> the fuck you want? Who are you? He was trying to come it's here me, Bob Benson, from the office. Trying to come here to smash. I was uh, sh out shopping and yeah, I, I brought you some laundry. Realized I had misplaced some paperwork and I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you dumbass. What are you two doing? Yeah, no, your business. Finish your bullshit. You know what? I should have a good idea. No, <laughs> Mr. Sterling's just leaving. <laughs> bye bye now. I'm sure this can wait till Monday. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bob. He really thought he was going to smash. Out of context right now. I take no offense. <laughs> That's right. I'm hitting that. How's that taste? You'll know who I am from now on at the office. Every time you see me, you're going to taste this right here. <laughs> Didn't know you were friends. Yeah. Some people never stop working. I'm going to freshen up and we'll get out of here. <laughs> She's going to cuss him out in the towel, right? Peggy's about to light that ass up. What is that, a fucking... She's got a bayonet? Are you serious? Use a knife or use a club. Make up your fucking mind. Don't do both. She's doing both, man. That's the dumbest weapon I've ever seen. What's going on? Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Fuck! Jesus! Why didn't you say something? God damn! Don't pull it out! Yeah! <laughs> That's right, motherfucker. You're going to make it. He's <laughs> going to make it. Oh, my God. This is the best thing ever. Please die. Look, I don't Please want die. you to think it's just about what you did. Yeah. <laughs> I want to dump your ass. Horrible. No. You're scared. Don't think this is about what you did, but I do want to dump your ass. Person who hides behind complacency. Yeah. See. <laughs> I dump your ass. Don't do this right now. I said I was sorry. Look, you said you don't want you to think this is about this, but you're dumped. But he's offensive to my every way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you're out. But you'll always be the enemy. It's not me, it's you. you can go ahead. Are you breaking up with me? Let her off at any corner, fellas. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you. <laughs> you made it really easy to dump you. You gave me a great ending to my article. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming I live. <laughs> yeah, he heard that word. Hey, uh, it's okay if I, you know. <laughs> he was twisting a knife even though the knife was in him. That was pretty cool. I've never liked him more than this moment right here where he broke up with her ass in a fucking ambulance with her, her knife sticking out of his gut. That's some king shit right there. See, she she could she could have been getting some strange, man. He is. Believe it. Did you have fun? Why do you smell like your ex-wife? Oh, I miss you all the time. I think the whole siren thing is on purpose because of the theme of the episode. Earlier, I thought it was like, goddamn, like I thought it was out here, it was so fucking loud. But they're doing it on purpose. I don't know where you've gone. 
but I'm here. And I keep trying to make things the way they used to be, but I don't know how. The passion is gone, baby. Something has to change. In other words, you suck. I haven't been here. Everybody's done in this episode. That's another thing in this episode. We're done with your shit. Whichever character we're talking about, we're done with your shit. You can go down the list. Everybody. That's the like. Usually, I I struggle for a theme because I'm so invested in the characters and the ongoing story and stuff. It's hard to isolate one episode. That's what this episode's about. This episode is about we're done with your shit. There's probably ten characters that feel that way right now. They're Lincoln Logs, but maybe he built his mother a house. <laughs> can't drop in on me like that. <laughs> but I want to. Yeah, but you can't. I want to have sex with Buffy Summers, but she doesn't exist. So you know. I'm his father. But every day, Greg is some hero out exactly. there. Exactly. He gets the job. Who's going to watch TV with him? Bob Bunsen? Yeah. Go ahead. I just want to be around. I know you want to. But I can't count on that. Exactly. You're a four-year-old. She's done with his shit. Like I said, his daughter's done with his shit. Megan's done with Thank Don's shit. Megan's done with how they treat her at the, the office. You know, the office being so proper. Pete's done with how they treat him here. Harry's done. Something delicate has come to my attention. Oh, shit. Have a seat. He's going to snitch. He, he totally picked up on the fireworks. I don't want to put you in a strange position, and in the end, it's probably just got... But... It's come to my attention that you may be in need of a nurse. Oh, okay. Jeez, I can... Joan had no right to tell you that. His name is Manolo Colon. He's an army trained registered. Now nurse. you're fucking talking. Only because he's brought my father back to full health. Now you're fucking talking. Check this shit out, man. This motherfucker, he's a player. Is he Spanish from Spain? Because otherwise, mother will be confused. <laughs> Mother's a racist, you see. <laughs> and don't blame Joan. She was concerned about you and well aware that your well being is also an interest of mine. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker, man. Stepping up. He's a player, player, player. Motherfucker's trying to get this business. He approached that very delicately, too. Because you got to make it palatable for a sensitive bitch like that, right? Yes, just a minute. It's okay. Oh, shit. Good morning. Good morning. I just wanted to... I'm leaving. I need to talk to you. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I get it. She's available now. So now she wants to... Yeah. Now she got dumped. She wants to feel better about herself. Abe got stabbed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is he okay? Yeah, by me. What happened? Tell the whole story. Fine. Tell the whole story. But it's over. Yeah, because I was the one stabbing. Right. It's not even what you think it is, me stabbing, but I did. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, no, you ain't, motherfucker. She wants to feel better about herself. Get on this pussy. You are? <laughs> So she's going to get dumped twice in one episode. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> you ready to get to work? That's right. You're out. Excuse me? I... It's Monday morning, Peggy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I dumped your ass. You had your shot. Morning. How was your weekend? <laughs> Full speed ahead. Oh, shit. Good work. Yeah. We're all feeling good. <laughs> I guess he's done with her shit too. You know, because she's like waffling and stuff. And going to, you know. Everybody's done with everybody. I guess Peggy's not done with anybody. That, she's one of the few that's not done this episode. <laughs> she's like, what the actual fuck is happening? <laughs> Fantastic. So, what would that. There's always something there to remind me. What the hell would that have to do with this episode? Because it's always attached to the theme, right? I guess I'd have to, because, you know, it's not just about the chorus, it's about the main lyrics, and I don't know the main lyrics of that song, it's probably what it is. Whew, man, that was a great fucking episode. It's been several weeks, because I've been so busy with the uh, Patreon stuff, it's been several weeks since I've actually watched an episode of Mad Men, what a great way to dip back into the pool. Won't be the last one. <laughs>